Hey, welcome back to Extra, and we continue to ease on down from this commercial break, and we are continuing our investigative, should I even say that? It's our, our, our lively discussion with the cast of The Wiz from Guam High, and we have finally the ladies have taken the KUM couch, so we say half a day to Chloe, who is playing the part of The Wiz. Hello. The character for whom the, the play is named, so that's a very challenging position. Yes, I okay. guess it is. Okay, I want to talk to you about that, but uh, Dorothy is played by Alora yeah. from Santa Rita. <laughs> yeah. So, Alora, happy to have you here. Thank and you. then uh, Kira is playing Ada Pearl? Ada Pearl? Ada Pearl. Ada Pearl, okay. That character I'm, I'm not too familiar with, so let's, let's start with you and everything. Um, how does that character shape up in the story and like relate to the other characters? Um, so, in The Wizard of Oz, when you watch it in the movie, um, Glinda is the witch that goes in with the munchkins, and she's the one that first, first meets Dorothy. Mm -hmm. In The Wiz, Ada Pearl is the one who does that. Oh, okay. All right. So, for those of you who go rent the movie, go stream it on Netflix, or go, you know, go, go torrent it. I'm not encouraging that. But, you know, <laughs> you can get it by various means. So, um, each of you, we can just kind of like go, you know, freeform here, because, you know, as the gentlemen were even saying, you know, the ladies run the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's it like playing these characters? And, you know, um, your singing parts, mm -hmm. I understand. It was well, with you. Hmm. Dorothy, you have the most you have the most speaking lines in this play, so yeah. I mean, well, the singing parts. I could say that out of like all my characters that I have played, this is kind of difficult for me, but I'm still like adjusting to it. And I really like playing Dorothy because I get out of my comfort zone because it's not like all the other characters I've played, I guess. Hmm. And I guess that you guys, you kind of just see our adventure that we go hmm. on, and I kind of just want to portray that. Dorothy's yeah. character also goes probably the most transformation, you know, when we're yes. first introduced into her, you know, mm -hmm. she's, she's very, very innocent, very naive, and then, you know, she develops this inner strength, and exactly, she's inspirational exactly, to her, her yeah. character. How do you actually carry that through, you know, three scenes of the play? I guess I kind of just have to put myself in that position and kind of relate it to, like, my life now, or, like, actually, <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess, and it's kind of just, like, relating that to your own self, and that kind of helps you act as if you are that character, that character, and that's what I do. Okay, yeah. and now Chloe, speaking of characters that you have played, you've actually got some Shakespeare on, on your LinkedIn profile. Yes, I've okay. done Shakespeare, I think it was my freshman year in high school. Nice. So I think I hard. read Shakespeare my senior year, and, and <laughs> it literally was like Greek to me and everything. I love so. Shakespeare. Outstanding. Okay, so what about this play drew you to it and one, made you want to get involved? I've always been very interested when it came to theater, whether it was plays or one acts or even musical theater. It's always been a very big passion of mine since I was first introduced to it. And I was here last year in the musical we did of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. I played Peppermint Patty that year. And it That's introduced a challenging role. me. Not last year. I didn't, yeah. I didn't do much. Okay. <laughs> But it introduced me to the different ways that different schools do their productions. And I made many friends and family, and I was like, I'm not ready to give this up just yet. Okay, so any actor knows that if you really, really get into your craft, right, you really take ownership of your character, you can even challenge your director, and you can just say, you know, I know you're telling me to do this, but I believe she would go in this route or she would react in this way. Have you guys had any of that, like, taking, like, liberty or just saying, like, hey, this is my character, this is who I am? I think our directors are usually really supportive of what we feel our character is, and they help us portray that as we want to. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, what what is um, this this character meant meant to you, and what other characters have you played? Um, last year, I was Lucy, and you're a good man, Charlie Brown. Nice. And I think overall, like learning how to be that character is really great. Okay. How about you? Um, well. I have done outside of Guam High, and I've done um, Guam Gate Theater. Mm -hmm. I was actually in Mama Mia, and I played Sophie as one of the, yeah, I played Sophie. <laughs> and, um, and I was also in Shrek and other plays outside of it. So. Well, I, I had no idea that we were going to have like three amazing ladies that would probably have like a star on the Hollywood Walk <laughs> no, of Fame no, here. No. But, okay, Screen Actors Guild cards, you can produce them at the end of the show when you, when you get out and everything. So. Um, I'll ask you guys the same thing that I asked like the gentleman earlier and everything. How much stage time do you have together and like what's it been like, you know, playing off each other, you know, working on each other's, you know, strengths and you know, kind of like, you know, highlighting each other's strengths. I don't think we have really any scenes where all three of us are in it. Ooh, Obviously but we have scenes yeah, with her. Mm -hmm. uh, she's got it at the beginning and I don't come in until right near the end because you don't meet me until mm. the end. You were the Deus Ex Machina figure. Yes, and yeah. then I disappear for the rest of time. I'd like to know, how challenging is that? Because, you know, everybody gets so excited, you know, it's like, 
it's opening night, everybody's really, really jazzed, you know, the overture comes in, you know, everybody's really, really excited, and then you don't come in and so, <laughs> so late in the play. How do you, how do you stay with your A game on? I enjoy watching from the sidelines and just it helps me get into character knowing what the story is and then it also is a good thing to think like I only have three scenes make them work for it make it be as best as I can possibly that's be. mamba mentality right there you guys <laughs> Rest in peace, Kobe. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay, so um, again, we wanted to uh, let, give you ladies the chance to let everybody out there know, where can people get tickets? So you can get tickets from any of the cast members from... McCool the, yeah. Elementary School. Anderson also Elementary Anderson, School yeah. and Guam High School. Okay. Could I trouble you guys? Can you maybe do like a couple, a couple oh. bars from a, from a number? Do you guys, if you guys have uh, time together? Um, what, what, yes, Laura. What should we sing? I mean... Um, can we bring the the boys in? Is that possible? If the guys want to go, okay. Um, we only got about, oh uh, no, we only got about fifteen seconds. So. Okay. Um, well, well, we'll say, we can save it for the play. Yes, exactly. Okay, yeah, no, we don't want to give too much. Go, okay. But you have to, you have to watch and see. Yeah, we've already yes. said that Chloe comes in at the final scene, so spoiler alert. Oh, <laughs> it's also spoiler alert for the Wizard of Oz, is you don't come in until the end anyway. Whoops. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, it's it's a it's a wonderful scene, so. Okay, so ladies, thank you so much. Thank you. And we, thank you. We hope you guys break a leg as well. Yes. Congratulations and thank good luck. You. Thank All you. Thank right. you. Stay tuned because we will be back right after this.